morning everybody my name is Tony Smith and welcome to my garden on a glorious day so today we're gonna have a little bit change from the usual gardening and I'm gonna give you my thoughts and my impressions and my outcomes of markers for labels because <laughs> I seem to have kind of tried everything under the sun and at the moment I'm still in a bit of a flux with what works what doesn't but stick around till the end because there's a lot of people in the comments have mentioned one one the, probably the cheapest marker of all that works the best of all as well but before that don't forget to subscribe like I say my name is Tony Smith and on this channel you'll find all the kind of garden tips and techniques and a little bit of fun and sometimes a little bit of temper as well <laughs> hit the like button and the thumbs up as well that'd be fantastic so we're here today just like I say just to go run through a, a few of the kind of the the markers and the labels that I use because I think especially for me as well it's something I need to get a grip on and really perfect it because each year I set out a try to the best I can and they just it just doesn't work and I just by the time the end of the season's coming you know like round about now I'm I'm giving up a little bit I really shouldn't and at the beginning of the season I'm all keen you know I'm trying the best and the latest bits of kit and within a month they're not working as well and I get a little bit frustrated so I'm just going to give you my thoughts on what works and what doesn't first off then we'll start it I guess in reverse order the worst you know up until the best what I'm kind of finding is the best for now so the worst I've come across is at this moment is the faber castell these are the multi-mark colored ones now the colored ones and i did all of my salad with the colored ones and within within two or three weeks these faded straight away to the point now where i'm starting to question what's what and what you know so what I did find though, because you get in this pack, you get a black as well. And the black seems to have last, lasted a little bit longer than the coloured ones. You know, the, the orange and the reds, which I really thought would be quite quirky and, and hopefully last, you know, it had a, there's even a rubber on the end to take it off your labels when you're finished, but not really suitable for the kind of, the outdoor, you know, it's, it's something that kind of, like you say, you struggle with all the time because I, for me, it's the labeling is like the last part of the process of you know like the, the doing the seeds and inevitably i've finished the garden i've finished the sewing i've finished the, the potting on my hands are dirty i go i wash them i dry them they're not perfectly dry i come to pick up the pen the label there's water on and this is for me this is where <laughs> the crux of the fault is this is where it all hinges for a good one or a bad one and like I say, those Castell ones just didn't work at all. They just, you know, for a permanent mark, they probably even fade indoors, to be honest. And that's just not what you want. You know, the whole, re the whole in the title is permanent, but it doesn't disappoint it totally. Now, the next one, again, on the similar lines and the one that I think everybody, when the first start in gardening goes to, the Sharpie marker not good at all do you know what i mean it again just fades it's just it's not built for the outdoor environment so when the the sun and that you know the, the the uv rays and and the rain and everything hit it it just doesn't seem to last at all and i mean we've all kind of grown up with the kind of the sharpie markers these are the ones that you know what i mean these are the, the ones and you would think these would be the the the, the number one go-to for everybody and this one's a fine point and I like a fine point when I'm writing out but again it just after a month you, you, you're starting to look at your veg and your, 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 your labels and you're thinking what, what is <laughs> what is that that I've planted because you think you're going to remember you know what I mean you're like it's just my little garden I'm just planting a few things but I think the key as well for labeling is your dates you put on they just help you so much you know what I mean? just to give you help you know kind of the year after and the year before and and, and 
telling your friends, you know, and talking about it. When was good, when was not. No day, it doesn't help. And I'm, I'm preaching here, but I, <laughs> I am bottom of the class when it comes to labeling that. But I've just, like I say, I've tried them all and some things work good and some things don't and the sharpie for me doesn't work at all so just out of curiosity i kind of use three types of labels i use a nice big plastic one and these are basically great for you know like for like say your big like say your brassic as you can plant and they just stand up great everybody seems to have these the little thin plastic ones in you know for seeds for growing seeds i like them as well but my favorite one of all and you get them in packs of like something like 500 on ebay and i'll try and find some links if they might be on amazon i don't know to be honest i'm sure i got these on ebay but well i'll try and put links to all the kind of things so you can have a little look and try them and what i'm finding like say with me the salads at the moment in there they're fading off these pretty quickly now i think that's the the pen not the the actual plastic but both these ones they've got like a, a rough little surface so you would think the sharpie markers would just cling to them or the you know the permanent markers but not at all to be honest so but they're the the actual markers i use and i use these for the like the my seedlings and potting on certain tomato plants and I, I like this i like that size it's just it's got a little curve in the back there and it just works very well and like you see you get hundreds of them you know what i mean so you be a while before you actually run out of them you know what i mean and you could just wipe off well i mean <laughs> nature's taking most of them off anyways where you can wipe off it with some alcohol or some kind of acetate to get the the labels nice and clean so i try and recycle it as well so coming in then what was i one to coming in in third place i guess or, or the kind of third last is the dynamo labeler now this works perfectly don't get us wrong it works it sticks it labels it's it's a great method of doing it i haven't got the time to do it no <laughs> it's too faffy it's too slow it's yes it's great if maybe if you're in a professional environment and you want to just a kind of a permanent label a permanent marker and it you know don't get us wrong it works but i find you know let's just say you've got you, you have about say 10 different kinds of seedlings you know and let's just say my winter salads there marvel of four seasons you know that amount of characters every one of you got you've got a type and it they're almost like a and i guess the all i mean this is dynamo this is the one that everybody uses you know the company that uses it and we use these at work for labeling things and everything like that but when you've got quite a few labels to go through this just takes its time this you could be on for at least you know seven seven different seeds i reckon you could be on with you know seven different labels printing them out taking them in you could be on for at least 15 to 20 minutes just doing this but there's one flaw in this for me personally that it i kind of get past and it's just it's more frustrating as when i can switch it on and i think i've got yes i've got april cabbage typed in there now so and it prints off you know it prints off lovely you can see it coming there and i've got it on the biggest font size as well i've got a nice blue label there and these are just like second not the main company's labels but they all work you can see there april cabbage now peeling this off for me with you know i haven't got the prettiest of <laughs> nails just i'm on forever i can get one side off no problem do you know what i mean can you see that i'll just zoom in and get that side off no problem but when it comes to this other side i just struggle to get it off and i sometimes damage this and even there look you know it's i'm trying to there have i got it no not yet and I end up getting so frustrated. I still haven't got it yet. You know, I've had about 10 goes. Can I just, no. See that? <laughs> I still kind of get, see I've got no nails and it's, there we go, there we go. So it's just frustration. 
for this it's a lovely display it's a lovely application when it you know but for you know longevity of the work i've got I put the the winter onions last year they're still there but tightening it out peeling this bloody label off just doesn't work for me it's it's more frustration than it is it's it's overkill <laughs> so the next one or the kind of probably the last one which I, I really thought would be the one for me and i've just had this about say three weeks there now so i've been using it quite a lot of times and in the perfect environment it works the garden marker this is built for this is built for you know like the garden for for mark and the garden but again it falls down in one aspect and that's when your labels get a little bit wet it just it it get the, the needle the kind of the, the tip gets wet and it just fails and it doesn't work at all and even if it's like see the labels are just a little bit damp and you, you know you're, you're in a, an, an outdoor environment so they're, they're gonna get you know i picked these labels or i've got a bunch of them down here that are damp throughout do you know even in like a dry polytunnel they, they do get damp it just it would work in it like in a nice dry, dry living room you're typing out your seeds you know for your winter seeds you pop it in perfect that'll that'll not but for an everyday driver one it's got its one big Achilles heel and don't get us wrong it's great you know I got three of them and I'll still use them but as soon as I get anything wet my fingers wet or anything like that it goes to that tip and it just it doesn't write so you can you can start a label off and let's would you say winter of den winter, winter density you can have the word winter and then you'll not get any more so then you've got to go hunting around and all this is just you've finished your jobs you want to get these labeled and get sorted and it just at that very last moment it just fails you know but this is probably up to now the best one if the environment's right you know it it, it works and it stays and it they do actually stay on the label that's the the good thing about it you know i've been the ones that i worked in there when i do water on the labels and everything like that it it works so keep dry hands and this will be probably my second possibly first recommendation but there is another one that everyone's been telling us about and you would think this wouldn't work but and it's probably the cheapest one out of all that and there's quite a few people prefer like what our classes you know knowledgeable gardeners are, are recommending this so this must work the humble pencil yes the graphite pencil there this is a 4b so the the kind of softer the the graphite there the better it goes on and it uh, apparently this is what lasts this is what all the, the gardeners on the labels with, are using now i've tried it writing and it just writes like a pencil and i've put it under a tap and it seems to work straight away with the weather now i haven't use this in any sort of like say anger <laughs> but this is going to be from now on my number one go-to and we'll kind of see at the end these are the is it the steedler and you get 12 and then, like i say there's there was cheap as chips you know like a pack of pencils there and yes you'll you know you you'll might, might need a like a pencil sharpener or your, your garden knife to to get them going but there is a number of people that said forget all this fancy labeling just use a pencil and i think this could be the one that might work we'll see what is your tell or oh, please honestly tell me because that, like i say there's there's only a certain amount i can kind of spend on labels but i seem to have spent a fortune on them and still have not reached that ultimate goal of finding the best label maker what's your best label let us know in the comments and what's your best application for putting on a label now like i say i know there's quite a few people use this but i just haven't got the patience with it i know as soon as i started using the sharpie markers there was a lot of comments saying to them that's not going to work it's just going to fade and straight away it does let us know in the comments what is the best marker it's looking like for me 
this could come in at number one it was the garden marker that worked in the in the right conditions but if you've got any kind of condition this pencil the humble pencil might work look after yourselves take good care